Let's get it. Hop off a 16 passenger. This a G5. No, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. The coat seats. They some cannibals. Eat us. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle. Wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look. Mixed it with the chill out. Now she say she saying. Th Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video. So I am driving to an appointment. So while I'm driving, I thought that I would talk, chit chat with you guys about a few things. The first thing I wanted to talk about is my jazzy life. Honey, when I say it never ceases to amaze me that the drama about her does not stop. Like, it's always something. And I'm going to be honest, most of the time, it's not something she did. It's some BS. One BS after another BS after another BS. So, the new BS is that Chris has flu coop. That he is no longer available for consultation on anything, even a uh, practice baby making. Uh, now, while he was there, the whole time he was there, they said he was an abuser, he was a user, he was a don't be chooser, I mean, just all kind of stuff. So, with that being said, um, it's like, Oh my gosh, like what? Poor thing, that's all I can think. The sad part about all of this is it puts her back in the position that she was in before. And that position is being a second streamer to the man that's supposed to be her man. Because uh, they're saying that not only has he left her, he probably with another woman why he's in the truck that she helped him get and with his ten, with her $10,000 from her income tax. I mean, what can you say but poor thing? Damn. I mean, it's, it's a lot going on. I mean, it just is. Now, let, let's go here. Is it true? Who the heck knows? And quite frankly, I feel like for them... And when I say them, I mean random people in the YouTube South Side streets to talk about this the way they are talking about it. I feel like they should have some proof. Now, there's another situation that has come up. I'm not going to elaborate on it, but what I will do is um, say this. I feel the same way about that as well. If you're going to discuss something that is... Uh, supposedly uh, a part of a person's history or part of who a person is especially something that is very damaging you should definitely 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 have proof you shouldn't just randomly talk about oh this is how this person said this so since this person said this um, blah 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 like words have power words have meaning and that meaning and power can change the trajectory of a person's life in an instance so y'all stop being messy south side youtube y'all need to stop being messy y'all just do i mean you just do because you could be damaging a person's life in a way that it will never be the same and that is awful it really is it shouldn't happen so that's what I got to say on that that's that on that y'all need to stop it now let's get back to this other situation with my jazzy life the kids and the feeding of the children I was watching a live that she did she said she was doing laundry um she said the kids were eating either a snack or something. So little Ava came up to her po baby. The baby came up and asked mama what's for dinner. Like, what are we eating? Mom told her, I think corn dogs or something. No, chili dogs. So um, D 
then she looks at mom when mom walks up to legend and gives him some cookies so she asked for something to eat now this is the same baby that couldn't even get a two dollar piece of candy at the store yet this hoe made a whole video about going somewhere and buying something so that her man can smell good her man but the baby couldn't get a two dollar piece of candy but let's continue now she goes and uh asked mommy what's for dinner she told her then she asked mommy for a snack after seeing mommy she stood there and watched her like she was mesmerized she watched mommy walk find a snack because legendary wanted something else after his first snack because so she said he seen his siblings eating so he want to eat too okay little legendary no problem you want to eat let's eat so she go get him a snack and give him a snack so he'll be quiet so ava was like oh that's what we at we got we get snacks after food let's do this because this is the day i've been waiting for all my life so little ava asked mama can i get something else to eat Do you know what that wench told her, baby? Ava, you just had something to eat. You're going to have these people talking about me again saying I don't feed y'all. Get you some water and go sit down. Paula, baby, was bewildered and flummoxed, just like I was. Why little baby legendary can get him another snack and little baby Davis can't? Is it cause you trifling? Cause you ratchet? Cause you what? What? Because you is something. If you get stamps, you get them cause you got kids. Five kids in fact. Let's just keep it real. If you get a tax return, you get it because you got five kids. Anything extra, anything you get is because you got five kids. You are a mommy vlogger, supposedly. Simply because you got five kids. So you owe your entire existence and life and income from any aspect to the fact that you got five freaking kids but them babies can't get no damn cookies and a two dollar damn piece of candy you trifling you trifling you did a whole video about going to buy a wretched nigga some smell good but your babies can't get no candy your babies can't First of all, you forced them to have to be at the game all day. I was an AAU organizer, so I know that I know what it is. And no baby, whether the mama had it or not, would have to sit still in a gym while we watch the kids play and not get no candy. Cause somebody buying that baby something, especially if they're getting fidgety. Or if they acting hungry, you should know when your kids is hungry. You should know when your kids is fidgety. You should know what's going on with your children. Oh, we hear this worse now. It's crazy. And it's unfortunate. And it is disrespectful. To the child that you brought into this world that pays you. That you would treat them in that manner. It just is. It, it, it is. I didn't even catch it at first. Somebody else did commentary on that and I listened to her commentary. That's how I found out about it. And it hit me at that moment. Dang, that baby did. And this is the same baby that she called ungrateful. Why little legendary ain't ungrateful? You been giving him food. Every time we see you with Legendary, you feeding him. 
He throwing the food, doing all kind of stuff with the food. But yet, the other kids, you always rationing their meals. Is that an agreement or something that you and their daddy made? Like, what's what's with that? What's the deal with that? Why them babies can't eat? Somebody need to come and do to you the stuff that you do to your children that pe that that seems uh, neglectful. So you know how I feel. Because anytime your behind want to go in there and get something to eat, you do. From the time that you met Chris to today, your tail done got chunky. His tail done got chunky. Legendary is a thick boy. He's a healthy boy. But them babies over there are skinny as ever. That is significant. Significant. That that's the case. And why is that the case? If your child consistently asks you for extra food, clearly your portion sizes are not appropriate for the child's growing body. And it is time to up. Number one, I remember uh, you saying chili dogs for dinner. But yet, when you went to the store, you bought two cans of chili. Girl, who was you feeding? Yo, nigga. Because it wasn't your kid, not no five babies. You should have had a can per kid. Because the thing is, you should always cook. Especially when you have that many kids in the house, you always should want leftovers. So anytime one of your children come up and say they're hungry, you can immediately go in there and get them something to eat. Warm it up give it to them but that's after you done fed them enough also they snack station have to ask for it and not just junk food snacks healthy food snacks as well now you don't do horrible at the fact that of limiting junk food but for what if you're going to go ahead and have tail feed them children at least let them get junk food something that could tie their little bodies over till they go back to school or go to their daddy house. And as a woman, you should take pride in the fact that nobody can tell you, can, can say that they do better for your kids than you. Them kids be so happy and a totally different person when they at dad's house. And let's keep it real. He ain't shit neither. Out here trafficking people and I heard minors as well. So he definitely ain't nothing. I'm surprised they are allowing the girl children to go to his house. <laughs> but regardless to the fact of that, when they over there, they totally different because they can eat. They can have fun. They can get attention paid to them. I mean, the whole nine yards they can get. But you always come from the struggle bus. Oh, I can't do this. I can't afford this. I can't afford it. Yes, you can. When it comes to them kids, you can. Because the money you spending is their money. The money Google pays you is because of them. You are a family channel. So whatever you get is because of your children. Food stamps, they give you more food stamps when you have more kids. Income tax, the more kids, the bigger the refund. So you basically are not in a position that you can't nothing when it comes to them babies. And if you're a real woman, it ain't about people trying to tell you what to do. It's about maybe somebody with some knowledge you don't have trying to educate you to be better. Look at this vehicle. I live the mommy life, right? Water in that door. Water in this door. Water in the back doors along with a juice in each back door. You see, right? Look straight back right there in the, in the rest sodas. I have a secret compartment back there in the vehicle. You know what's in there? Snacks and stuff for my babies. Because they are never want something to eat and not get it from me. 
because I'm a real mama. So you want to sit up here and talk about, oh, I, I, um, these my kids are doing well. You right. They are your kids and you can do what you want, but you ain't shit if you ain't doing right by them. Period. So, and, and ain't none of that about your children. Just like you so worried about going to get something for uh, baby daddy. What about baby? Why you don't take him and get his hair trimmed up, evened up, so it can be cute? Get him a little high and tight. That's what it's called military terms. I don't know what y'all call it. But, I mean, do something to even his hair up so it won't look as bad. If he got a bad grade of hair and you don't want to get any kind of treatments done to his hair, you should always have his hair cut short so you ain't got to worry about the nails. That ain't about what people got to say. It's about you mothering your damn kids. And only a sorry woman would not want to do that if you have children. And then what's with all of y'all women out here on the south side of YouTube having babies, whether you can feed them or not? Now, I'm going to go general here for a minute. It's another young lady. She just had a baby. Honey, she dealing with postpartum depression. I feel so bad for her. But then I find out she is in a household. She already had three children. She's in a household that I don't think anybody works. Her spouse or man or whatever, he is on a fixed income because I don't think he can work. And then she, I think, I'm assuming she don't work because I ain't never seen her go to nobody's job. And I've never seen her talk about a job. Nor have I seen her do anything but YouTube. And, and when I first started watching her, it was so hard to watch her because the way she articulates, she don't know what the hell she talking about. So I say all of that to say, she's had another child. She's extremely stressed. She is not, you know, looking good, feeling good. And it ain't because of something that she is or something that she's done. She's just overwhelmed. And with that being the case, like I said, I feel bad for her being overwhelmed. But it's like, baby, you know that you are increasing a household in a household that does not have a, a, a lot of money. So every time you make a change or increase or do whatever... You um, put yourself in a position to struggle more. And one of the things that she keeps saying is that she um, she is overwhelmed and she got so much in her head. That's that worry as a mother. Now, she is a mother. She spends time. She makes sure her kids are good and all of that. But that's the worry from her... Um, knowing that I'm on a limited income in this household. And then with her YouTube channel, she has about three to 5,000 followers. On her YouTube channel, she, um, she, she used to do reactions. So she built her channel primarily off reacting to other people's videos. And then she turns around and decides that, you know, she's tired of the negativity of all these other people. So she's not going to do reactions anymore. Okay, so she's not going to do reactions, but you got to think about it. The people who came to your channel, the people who watch your videos primarily are there for reactions. So now you're saying you're not going to do that anymore. So your whatever income potential you had is going to go down. Like... Why do some of you women think that's an option? When you have kids to feed, going less or going low should not be an option for you. Because you got to feed your children regardless. Now, it's not fair that y'all keep having these babies and needing food stamps. Like the, the infamous 12-6 when Jasmine had to sit there and cry about uh, food stamps. She didn't have no more food stamps or whatever. Um, and she on live crying talking about she can't buy nothing for her kids. Why was you dependent on that for your baby birthday anyway? Again, everything that you get is about your children. Y'all, I, I just want to hear from y'all. We probably going to have to continue this conversation because like I said, that girl ain't nothing if she's sitting there fe uh, not feeding them children. Them kids should eat. She should cook like she got 10 kids. She should always have leftovers so anytime her children want to eat, 
they can eat. When she took those kids to that game, number one, she should have dropped them babies off somewhere because that's unfair to them to have to sit like that. Now, we, if we was in, a, like, my unit, we had parents that would go with us and different things of this nature. So, with that being the case, we would, if we going out of the room or out of the gym, we would take a baby with us, maybe, especially if the parent is not moving. We would keep the babies engaged because it was a family thing for us. We was getting scholarships and we was moving them kids on. It's already bad enough that she's dishonoring Caitlin by having her on a team that makes everybody else have to play up. Them kids are not in their league. They probably gonna get drugged the whole season for that reason. If they take Caitlin, put her on a team of kids her age, then all the rest of the kids that's two to three years younger than her will play against kids their age and the talent pool will probably be more even. But anyway, guys, like I said, I'm here at Walgreens picking up an order. They tried to deliver to me and claim they couldn't get in the gate, but the gate uh, is messed up because I stay in the gated community. So it's like, huh? But anyway, I got to go ahead and call these folks and get my stuff. We're going to talk about this more later, but in the meantime, I want to get you guys input because what I'm going to start doing on my channel is when I see... Uh, comments on things that we've discussed that are, um, you know, discussion worthy. We're going to go ahead and take that comment and we're going to do commentary based on that comment. So we're going to continue the conversation here. We are here as family. We are uh, discussing as family and everybody's voice matters on this channel. So guys, I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys for taking the time to check this one out. If this is your first time here, welcome please hit that subscribe button. Hope you have enjoyed the commentary. If you're still here, most likely you have. Um, also, everybody, please hit that like button. Please support the channel. Also, we got to feed the algorithm. So that's a twofold right there when you do that. Cost you absolutely nothing. i see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Let's get it. I fought for 16 passengers. This is G5. No, this not a challenger. Big one. I keep some members with me in the fridge. The coat seats. They some cannibals. Eat us. They like the geek geek. Drink a whole bottle. Wake up and repeat. Damn. She took a look. Mixed it with the chill out. Now she say she saying 3D. Wow. I go in the jungle and they got a coat. I bet I come out with a meme. I bet I do this shit for the fam. Could this shit.